Welcome back YouTube. This is the third and uh, final video on this uh, floor replacement on the camper. Um, so what we've got here so far is I thought I hit record, but obviously I didn't. This is our positive and our uh, 110 line going inside the camper and it's already out and I don't think I'm gonna put it back in there. Um, it's going back in there, but I don't think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm actually going to, um, cause it's dead, I have it turned off. But I think I'm actually gonna wire nut them together. Cause if you look, they're just little tabs holding them together. And I think I'd rather have, have them wired nut together on the inside. That way I know they're secure. They're not gonna come. They're, they're gonna make good contact. I did that with my old one too. Now, before we start just cutting wires and everything, I'll see if I can do this one with y'all. That's not where I want y'all to look. See that there in the corner? Okay. These right here are your 12 volts, okay? Now, there's two separate holes here. One of them goes up through the main frame of the camper and one doesn't. Now I'm gonna change this. Um, we're gonna, now they're still hot, but they're just 110. So long as you don't touch them on anything, they'll be fine. But I'm gonna cut them here and uh, we'll wire nut them together. But instead of going through two different holes, this hole won't be there anymore. And we'll bring it through the wall on the other side and come down through the same hole. So they'll be together. There's no reason why they shouldn't be. We'll just make sure that we have them taped apart so they won't rub through each other. So that's gonna make life a little easier on us when we go to put this back together. Now, why they did it that way, I don't know. It's above my pay grade. Um, also, before you just start pulling these bolts out of the subframe here, I don't know what you guys can see because you're looking different than me. Um, take your paint marker and mark each one so you know what hole it goes back up into. All right, I'll bring you back here in a minute. Yeah, see how I got all the paint marks on each one. Now, I told y'all wrong, I'm not cutting it. I am cutting it, but not on this side. We'll pull this out and uh, this whole floor out, and then we'll do it inside. We'll run it to the wall on the inside. So it's gonna be inside by that little black piece that was on the wall. I'm not doing it on the outside. Um, and I meant it that way, I just didn't say it that way. Now each of these little spots here that have holes in them, they are all screws. See? Now don't just start pulling these out. We got some things we gotta do first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out right here. And um, then we gotta brace this up. This whole thing right here rides on this. So you pull this out and it's gonna come down. We don't want that. So we're gonna brace it up here, and I'll show you what I mean by brace it. We'll brace it right there, and on the other side, and then up here on this, on the front corners. Um, I'm gonna uh, put y'all on a, on a oh, time lapse while I do this. It'll speed it up a little bit. All right, YouTube, let me show you what we got going on here. Now, I don't think everybody's going to have access to these right here. Um, and all they are are these little stands. Now, I have access to them, so I'm going to use them. This one just barely fit underneath here. See, I'm sitting on this piece right here. Don't set it on the tin you'll tear it up but you can set it right there on this it'll slide right on there just perfect what we're gonna do is just barely okay just barely give it any kind of lift in fact we'll make sure that you make sure you got good footing on there 
and then just barely lift it. Yeah, oh shoot. Looks like that thing is just gonna hit. There we go. We'll do it by hand, there we go. Spin the whole thing for right now because it's just hitting, but I'm just gonna spin it up. It totally wasn't doing what I thought it was. There we go. Oh, lifting up on the self tap screw. I do not want to do that. Now look, you're just putting, you're taking the weight off of it. So don't sit here and crank it up. Um, you do want to lift a little bit, but not much. You can use jacks. My last, I didn't have these on my last camper, so I just used jacks, regular jacks. But make sure you're lifting on the metal. And before I forget, I need to put silicone on all that because it definitely, Definitely needs it. I feel that'll do it right there. Now we're supporting it. And then now, this one's gonna be a little bit different, okay? Cause it's gotta hit here, but you don't want to, you definitely don't want to um, interfere with the new floor going in there, so keep that in mind as you're doing it and you want to do this on all four corners what you can do if you would like to is lift it just a little bit put blocks underneath it that's what I did with my old one I just used blocks um, worked really well um, worked really well These right here sure are helpful, but they sure do take a little longer. Now remember, you don't want to damage anything, so I'm just barely going to catch, right? I don't want to damage anything, just like that, right? Again, just like that. Quit. This one, again, you're just barely catching much. You are, there's metal there, but I'm gonna catch it like I am. Barely gonna put any lift on it. Just like that. Check this one again. Now we'll do it to the other four corners. I'll bring y'all back. All right, now we got all four sides braced up. So now when we pull this out, it'll be okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the inside, pull all the bolts through. Um, I'll bring you back when I get so in. Now all we're gonna do is got the bolts that the slide itself actually are held in on. Um, we're gonna go in there and just pull them all up. I already got them all loose, so we should just be able to take this little pry bar here and go underneath there and do it. Now remember, <laughs> this thing is rotted, so putting a whole bunch of weight on it may not be your best idea. And again, I may have to go underneath there and try to tap them up a little bit with the hammer. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to, but yeah, looking like I may have to. This thing definitely is not working. So 
Tell you what, I'm gonna go underneath there and do that. And I'll just bring y'all back when I come back inside. All right, so. Well, even after knocking them through, they're still, still in there pretty tight. forget don't leave anything on there because we're fixing to drop it down remember so now we're going to go back outside just have some stuff going on out there okay so now we got everything braced up the way it's supposed to be um we got the screws we got to pull out now we don't want to bring this all the way in but we do need to make sure this right here is going to slide a little bit so real easily, I have remote control, so it's the easiest way to do it. We're going to retract just real easy. I see I was trying to bring all of it. Okay, we don't want that. So I'm just trying to do that. Push it back out. raise it up just a little bit more okay I'll bring y'all back let me do this so I have to get in and out underneath here a few times to do that all right let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here there we go um yeah make sure you take those off right there I forgot to mention that to y'all um let's see if it's gonna work You see it start trying to bring the slide in and push it back out. Um, that's actually probably going to be good enough for right now. Uh, I don't want to bring it in too far. I just kind of want to... Uh, just kind of want to get it going. Just a little bit. Oh, stuff is just the old tarp falling down on it and all that that's far enough now I should be able to get all these screws out here and uh, we'll be able to get ready to put the new one in I'm gonna put y'all in time lapse while I pull all those out And we're back, YouTube. So, had a couple of these screws actually fight and uh, caused me some heartburn. Um, I did stop last night. It's actually the next day because I don't want animals inside there and I'll have help today to get it out. Um, those are the screws, the big ones, they go along the side here. And the smaller ones go along the edge. Now, I'm not going to use them when I go back in there with them, but you can basically see what we're working with now. 
Um, actually, because it's just me, I'm gonna cut this inside and uh, make it smaller so I can actually handle it myself. So I'll bring y'all back when I get in there with the saw. Well, thought I hit record, but I didn't. She's out. So as you can see, that rod right there, that's what it rides on in and out. Um, got some damage right there, which is where I found, or how I found out that we had some issues here. Um, so I'm gonna put that back together real fast and we'll uh, attend that right there, the wiring, get it all changed how I want it, and we'll go from there. All right, YouTube. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all that I'm pretty disappointed in the craftsmanship of this camper. Now, I love it, but I'm pretty disappointed in it. Um, let's go ahead and get get going. So, this right here is where we're gonna pull out. We're gonna drill a hole right here. And this wire will pull through. So we'll be able to cut it, pull it through, and then when we get the new floor in, we'll have one hole that'll be right here that they'll they'll both come through. It'll make life a lot easier. And that little corner piece that we have goes right here will cover everything up and you won't even know it. Uh, gonna go ahead and put y'all on time lapse and I'll get this done, then we'll should be pretty close then to getting the new floor put in. All right, you two. So there we have it. This uh, we'll probably end up putting some more. Um, we'll use my nail gun, but it's got some water damage right here. I'm pretty sure it's from coming through right here. But see, now we have everything coming through this one spot, so we'll just have one hole coming through there. Now this is all dead. Um, now the 12 volt down there is still up, but. This is all dead up here. So we get the new floor put in. I don't know if I'm gonna film it. Um, reasoning is I'm gonna have a guy help me put it in here cause it's heavy. And um, he may not wanna be videotaped and we may be trying to hurry up and get him out of here. So I don't know if I'll tape it or not, we'll see. But the main thing is, is that we did get this open. <clears throat> Got it all ready and prepped to go. And uh, We'll bring you back here whenever he gets here. And there she is. She's now installed. Um, I don't have, it's not screwed in place yet. Um, I want to get new, new screws for the side. Um, but she is in place. And tomorrow I will go get screws and we'll screw all this in and all that in and we'll set it all down move the slide out all the way out we're supposed to be bolt it into place and then uh start putting it back together we'll uh bring y'all back tomorrow all right youtubers <clears throat> so i got it in we'll officially start putting the screws in now the only thing this board is doing is <clears throat> bracing it up. Um, I don't want to bring this out yet because we got to put screws along this edge right here. And the main reason that I believe the floor rotted out is because we have basically this size of screw going through there on the ends and they had no covering on them. This went through the tarp and left a hole. So I'm either going to silicone it <clears throat> or uh, somewhere underneath here with me. Oh, there it is. I have that roof seal stuff. And I may put that on there, try to run on the inside and loop it around and, and hook it. And just run it all the way along the bottom here. If I can do that, I may do that. If not, then I'll just silicone it. 
but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna drill a small pilot hole, and it's way small. And then we'll start putting them up in there, and uh, had four of these big ones on each end, and then a bunch of smaller ones went around this side right here, but that's because this was there. So I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse and get it going. Okay, so you can see what I'm talking about. Got those two there, and those two there. So, we'll go ahead and put you back on there, and we'll go to the other side and do it again. Now I'm going to put the jack underneath it right about here and lift it up and see if I can't put that patch stuff underneath there like I said. Um, I'm not going to bring y'all in on that just for simple fact it may not work. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I can do it on this side going alongside the wall which I'm going to do. Um, but I don't know if it's going to go underneath there. I just don't. But uh, I'll bring, I'll get that done and bring you back and we'll Put this back out we're supposed to do, drill the holes and start getting ready to bolt, uh, tie it down. Alright YouTube, she's sitting on herself again. I could not have asked for this stuff to work any better than that. It rolled on good, everything's covered up. Just, just happy with it. So now that we got this sitting on here, we need to drill the holes in there and uh, then drop the bolts through. So remember, we covered all these. Um, well, I'm glad I noticed that. I don't have it in, I have it out too far. We'll bring her in just a little bit, but regardless, we'll put you guys on time-lapse and we'll get the holes drilled. Now, when you drill the holes, remember, drill them the exact same size because it's got, um, you want the carriage bolt to actually grip on the wood so it won't spin while you're trying to put it in there. So now we've got the holes drilled and what I'm doing is I'm putting a little bit of that silicone down the hole and I'll drop the bolt in there and I'll Tap it down with the hammer. We're going to do all that going this way and finish that up. Then we'll go underneath and we'll bolt it up. And then we'll come back and we'll drill the hole over here for the electrical, get it ran up. Then it's just hooking everything back up, put it all back together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put y'all on time lapse and I'll actually do the time lapse for these, and then tightening up the bolts on the bottom. All right, YouTube, the wiring is now inside. I drilled the hole and I put a piece of PVC pipe through it. And uh, after I get everything wired in and all that, what I'm gonna end up doing is we'll put some of that patch material on the bottom and then we're gonna fill that thing up with silicone. And uh, that should hold it all in there and it should be good once it's all dried. Um, put y'all on time lapse while I do all this. I'm um, just letting y'all know now that I have a 
I have a little bit of a bad back, so I'm probably going to lay down while I do this one because it's a little more comfortable. So there we have it, lights work. Now I'm gonna do some vacuum really fast right up in here and um, we'll go back down outside and I'll show you what I'm gonna do, what I was talking about, about underneath there, about patching. Then we'll put a bunch of silicone in there and uh, clean up that heat barrier that goes down here and we'll try that spray adhesive again but we're going to try to glue it down the best we can and then we'll get the carpet in here and get ready well we're going to take the carpet outside and vacuum it really good we'll get the carpet put back in here and get it all stapled down and start putting this, the edges on it start putting everything back together all right so there's what i was talking about so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dab of silicone around that then I'm going to make a patch out of this. Then we'll go back inside and fill it up with silicone. That way, we ain't got to worry about it, hopefully ever again. And I'll tell y'all, this hasn't been that bad of a, uh, it's been that bad of a job. But, uh, well, am I ready for it to be done? I'm ready to stop climbing out of underneath this thing. All right. I ain't putting a whole lot of silicone because we are putting that patch material on there, but I just want to make sure I get silicone around. a little bit just a little bit and I know I ain't doing the best job at this part but it's the inside that I'm that's where we're going to keep everything out of it at the main thing this patch material is supposed to do hopefully it's going to keep it as dry as we can and then it's going to um, keep it as dry as we can and keep the silicone up inside of there while we're dipping it down. So we're going to put a piece right there. Already planned on that. I just didn't plan on having to put such a big piece because I screwed it up. I'm going to tell my wife. She won't believe that I screwed up. silicone inside keep it good all right I'm gonna turn you all off for a minute I'm gonna get uh, gather up the tools from out of here and we'll go back inside all right YouTube I don't know what happened I thought I hit record but obviously it didn't record um all that I've done so far 
is I filled that hole up with silicone. And I mean, I don't know, I guess it's not a huge deal not showing y'all. Just stick the nozzle down there and just pump it till it spoots out the top. And if it makes spoots out the top, it's kind of, it's good. I did clean that, um, this right here, the, that to keep the heat in. Um, I did clean it and uh, I cleaned the carpet. Now that's glued down. I'm just now starting to put the carpet in. Um, so I'm gonna put everything, put this on time lapse so I can start going and get this done. Um, what I'm gonna do in this time lapse is I'm gonna straighten this carpet out. Then I'm gonna use my little staple gun here um, and I'm gonna staple the carpet down and make sure it's good. Then I'll switch over to this and I'll start putting all this stuff back on the sidings and um, then we'll start putting the floor down or not the floor, the, the benches and all that together. Um, I'm gonna put it on time lapse to do all that though. So um, here it goes. There she is, YouTube. All done. Now, who out there thought while I was putting those on the floor that that wasn't going to work? Went right in the exact same spot they were before, carpet-wise. All right, now, I'm going to say this is the moment of truth. But uh, it really isn't. It should work. We're finna find out. Get my remote control going. First time in. Let's go outside, check the gap. Of course, everything's in my way. Cap looks good, cap looks good. It's in, it's firm. Now that, that unfortunately was for me on accident. When I was drawing that hole, we'll get it fixed, not a huge deal. Um, I'll get it fixed here pretty quick actually. But, gap is good, gap is good. All right, that's it. YouTube, I'm gonna bring the other side in and back this thing back into its spot and give me my pickup back. <laughs>